Hislop at Cates Cottage. He's an opening lap of 114.93 miles an hour, a new record from a standing start. Fogarty at Keppel Gate and on to Cates Cottage. Hislop on the charge now at Agos Leap. He's two seconds up on Locker. And despite the front wheel pouring the air, just watch the control of Steve Hislop. He keeps his head flat on the tank and just turns on the power. Superb style from the flying haggis. Sixth place man, Johnny Ray at Union Mills. And Hislop is simply superb through Bratton Bridge. Ian Locker is determined to give Ray Cowles his first TT win, turning it on at Union Mills. Hislop now leads on the roads. He's overtaken Johnny Ray. Fogarty at Kronkavati. He's still fifth, but averaging over 113 miles an hour. Hislop at Quarry Brens. This is where his junior race ended last year. Locker at Begaro. Now just one second down on the leader. Ray at Selby Bridge. He's sixth, three seconds down on Fogarty. The crowds are enthralled at the bottom of Begaro, where the riders almost rub their shoulders on the wall of the cottage on their left. Flying Fogarty at Bullard Bridge. Number 11, Ian Newton, is in fourth place, ahead of Cole on the roads. Number 7, Dave Leach, perfect at Bullard, but he's 17th. Hislop on bike now, and just look at the buffeting both rider and machine take on the bumpiest sections of the course. Hislop at Union Mills, two seconds up on Locker. Number 10, Steve Hazlitt, was third last year, but he'll be eighth this time. Fogarty is now up to fourth place. Locker at Bratton Bridge, he knows nothing short of a lap record will give him victory now. Begaro, and Hislop is now second. Locker leads the race by a whisker. But Hislop is still really going for it. Number 11, Ian Newton. Sadly, he retires from the race before the finish. Hislop on the mountain. He's got to pull out every stop now. He's experienced. Can he do it? Locker knows he's got to keep on the maximum as well. And he really is doing that. The 33rd and Kate's Cottage. Can Hislop pull back the vital seconds on the final descent of the mountain? Cole at Ramsey Hairpin, he's 13th, but Locker is riding like a man possessed, superb at the 33rd, and on to Keppel Gate, and then Kate's Cottage, and the final few miles. Hislop crosses the line, he's lapped at 117.37 miles per hour. Irishman Philip McCallan at the 33rd, he's now up to 6th place. The seconds tick away. Ian Locker crosses the line, a new lap record at 117.8 miles an hour, and it gives him victory by just 1.8 seconds. What a race. He averaged 115.16 miles an hour, a new record. Steve Hislop, 115.12, and Eddie Laycock, 112.62 miles an hour. So with new lap and race records, Welshman Ian Locker celebrates his victory and gives Ray Cowles, who has sponsored many a Manx Grand Prix winner, the first taste of a TT success.